All of us has conducted experiments in laboratories, but there could be many dangers in the laboratories. We might hurt ourselves if we are not aware of them. Let's see some examples of the potential dangers in the laboratories. Cuts. Several apparatus may cause cuts. For example, if we are not concentrated when using a knife, we may cut ourselves. When we are cut, tell the teacher and ask for the laboratory technician for help. He or she will help us to treat the wound. If we are cut by broken glass apparatus, we have to dispose the apparatus properly by putting them into the broken glass disposal bin. To prevent getting cut, use sharp tools and glass apparatus carefully. Heat burns. Heat burns are common in experiments which involve the use of Bunsen burner. For example, the wire gauze at a tripod remains hot even after the Bunsen burner was turned off for a few minutes. However, we may easily forget this after washing other apparatus. We might accidentally touch them with bare hands and get a heat burn. When we have a burn, wash the affected area under running water immediately. Inform the teacher and the laboratory technician. To prevent having a burn, we should never touch hot objects. Always handle them with a pair of tongs. Chemicals on skin When handling chemicals in the laboratory, we might spill some chemicals on our hands. For instance, one may put too much chemicals in a test tube and shake it improperly, which cause chemicals to spill out from the test tube. In such cases, wash the affected area under running water to remove all chemicals on skin and tell the teacher and the laboratory technician. To prevent spilling chemicals, we should handle them with care. When adding chemicals into a test tube, the test tube should be around one-third full and must not be more than half full. If you have to shake the chemical, tap the bottom of the test tube gently. Eye accidents Chemicals might accidentally get into our eyes. For example, we might unintentionally rub our eyes with our hand, which is contaminated with chemicals. If chemicals get into our eyes, we should wash our eyes with an eye wash bottle immediately. Remove the cover of the bottle, press the bottle, and apply it to our eyes. At the same time, inform the teacher and seek help from the laboratory technician. To prevent eye accidents, we should always wear safety glasses and never touch our eyes during experiments. These are only some common accidents in the laboratory, but there could be many other potential dangers. So, always remember to follow the safety rules when you're working in the lab. Keep calm and stay safe.